All right, so yesterday I did a, uh, a demo with the uh, Train Sim World the CSX Heavy Hall. Uh, today I'm gonna run. This is this is also uh, Dovetail Games. This is Train Simulator uh, 2018, and uh, we're gonna run around. Do one of the things I like about this this version versus the other one is the uh, the free roam feature here. Kind of lets you do whatever you want with the trains versus having to run a scenario. Uh, so you can just kind of play around with them more like you would on a uh, model railroad probably but uh, anyways uh, We're gonna start out in Truckee Even the uh, buildings, everything, even off the side of the tracks there, all this is 3D. A lot of people, I hear a lot of people uh, talking about, you know, how these games run on their computers if they don't have a uh, fairly high-end system. Uh, this is why. I mean, all this stuff is generated in 3D. All this traffic, everything. So it takes, it takes quite a bit to run. It's good. Anyways. I think I'm going to go ahead and take these and I'm going to go ahead actually want to turn this engine around here uh, since we're already here in Truckee and they have a uh, reverse loop uh, so I take advantage of if I can switch these engines around brakes on a few of these cars so they can't get away. Release the coupler. Get forward, release the brakes, give it a little power. Should be used in the car that behind it. Yep. Alright. Before I get too far here, to carry it away, you can see where my tracks go. You can actually just click on the deals too, but I like to go to, to this other screen. It gives you a better idea. And basically, whatever the blue line is, is where you're, where you're switched to right now. So if it's blue and that's where you want to go, then you can go. Bypass this track because there's already uh, assets parked on it. I don't want to run into them, so I should be good now. Get out of the way around here. Go up the reverse. Yeah. Well, actually, no, not mine. First, I'm going to want to pick that engine. Yes. Alright. <laughs> Now, I think we should be able to 
be kind of a bird's eye view. Speed is shown here, the speed limit for the area is shown here. So if you get too far over this, it will derail you, uh, depending on you know, if you go into a curve or whatnot. You can push it through here a little bit. I think I've gone as fast as 20 or 25 around this before without derailing, but uh, I don't wanna mess up the whole video doing that. So keep it somewhat in line, so to speak. Also, another thing, I guess, if you're comparing graphics on the music, if you happen to see the other video that I posted with the uh, trading symbol, that was that was uh, ultra high everything. Uh, this is only set to high right now. It's not on ultra, uh, to be fair. Uh, but it still looks pretty darn good, and it runs pretty smooth right now, especially if I was to hook up more than one consist together, because then it would really start lagging in ultra. But, uh, that's pretty good, I guess. I think, uh, what are we running here right now? We're running uh, 50, 70, 80 frames. 
you know, in a fairly busy area with multiple trains and whatnot. So that's really, it's not too bad. Uh, at 1080p, I guess, is the other bit to that puzzle. Uh, There's a lot more stuff to be shown or done with this, but uh, that's basic. Uh, look at the free roaming options. 